Dear students, this is the last lecture based on the error analysis. In my previous lecture, you had seen how to illustrate the problem, which is based on the percentage error up to proper error limit when there is a division or multiplication. Now, I can say here the type of the rule which I am going to discuss. That is, in short, you can remember, this is called power rule. And I can say this is also called the mixture. Mixture means this is a mixture of multiplication as well as division. Let's see how you solve it. For example, I am just taking a simple equation. P is a quantity which is equal to A raised to power N and B raised to power N and divided by C is another quantity having power T. Now, question is find percentage error of E. Let's see how you calculate it. Here all are dependent quantities. In order to separate them, you, you need to take the log both sides. Taking log both sides. Side. Now I can write log P is equal to N log A plus N log B plus T log C. Now in order to get the relative or percentage error, you need to differentiate it. Differentiate by operation, operators, that will be delta t upon p into 100 is equal to n delta a upon a into 100 with percentage error plus m into delta p upon p into 100 plus t into delta c upon c into 100. This is the way how you get the percentage error of this quantity p. This I can illustrate with example. Let's see the data based example. Here I am taking a quantity, that quantity is key, Q, and A raised to power 2 into B raised to power 3 divided by C raised to power 4. Given in the question, given percentage error of a comma b and c are two percent comma six percent and four percent respectively. You need to find percentage error of k. Let's see how to solve it. I have to use the concept which I already explained here. In a short way you can write log of q is equal to 2 log of a plus 3 log of b plus C. And finally, when you differentiate, you get delta Q upon Q into 100. That will be 2 delta A upon A into 100 plus 3 delta B upon B into 100 plus 4 into delta C upon C into 100. When you see carefully here, one thing is important that is this percentage error is given. Percentage error of A is 2% and percentage error of B that is already given in the question is 6%. Percentage error of C that is already given in the question that is 4%. Now substituting these values, when you substitute this value, you will get 
2 into 2 percent plus 3 into 6 percent plus 4 into 4 percent final result will be 4 plus 18 plus 16 that will be 38 percent by this way you will get the percentage error